Hello, this is Brett, and in today's lesson we are going to talk about loops. So loops are code that gets executed over and over and over and over again. And so to uh, begin, we'll jump into some code. I've created a file called whileloops.c, and I've already included some boilerplate uh, code here for us to get started with. Um, all of this we've re reviewed in uh, previous lessons on how to do it, so I'll just skip those steps and jump right into the concept of a while loop. So a while loop uh, builds on the concept of Boolean expressions that we talked about last time, but we type in while and then we need some condition here to meet. And while that condition is resulting in true, then execute this code. And over and over and over again, uh, this code will get executed. So if we just say, uh, printf hello world here and in our while loop we say while one while true will go over and over and over again so here we'll say make while loops and let's execute the while loops and you can see it's just in a loop over and over again it's just printing hello world Okay, now uh, to make this a little more understandable, let's put a new line character in there, we'll save it. And when we're in here, this loop, we can hit uh, Control C on our computer and it will break out of your application. And so if you're in an infinite loop, often you have to do that, that's Control C. So to show you this again, let's do this. You can see it's just printing hello world over and over again with a new line character. And that's because in our code, this loop is just looping over and over and over again and it's saying while one, while true, uh, we just loop. So the condition is always true, so it never exits. So that's called an infinite loop. So let's build an application where we're counting. So uh, let's say we want to count to 25. So we'll say, we'll start with zero, and we'll say the, the count is equal to zero, or assign zero to the count here. And then we'll say while count is less than 25, do execute this code block. And so if you remember in the last lesson, Boolean expressions, this will get evaluated and count will, it will look, count is less than 25, yes or no. That will result in a yes because count is zero. And then that will move on to this uh, code block. So then what we can do in here is say count uh, plus equals one and so every time in our loop, we'll add one to the count. So at first it'll be zero, it will print hello world, and then count will be count plus equals one, so that'll be zero plus one. We'll assign that to count, so count will now equal one. And then it will loop, and we should get it 25 times. So to show uh, that idea, we'll, let's just put the count in here, and uh, we'll print out the count so we can see it. So let's come and make this, and you can see our program ran here, it says hello world zero, because the first time that it executed, count was zero, it printed hello world and then zero, and then it incremented the count here by one, and then it looped again. Now at this point, count was equal to one, which still was true, this still resulted in true because count was less than 25. It came down and it incremented to two and then to three, and so you can see how it counted. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you know, all the way up to 24. And then when it hit 25, when count went to 25, it came around to the loop and it says count is less than 25. That would result in false, which was a 0. So then it would skip that and it would come down and execute the next line, which is return 0. So it exited. So that's a loop. Now, to show you a different example, let's say we wanted to increment the count by 2. We'll save that and we'll run that. And you can see now it's counting by twos, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, all the way up to 24. Um, now, there's a couple shorthand things here. You can say count plus plus and you run that and that will go zero and that will just increment by one. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 24. You can also do count minus minus. Take a guess what that does. That'll actually go into negative numbers and if we run that, we'll get into an infinite loop here because 
we're going from zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and it will never actually reach 25 because it's counting down. So here again is a case where we're in an infinite loop. So I'll hit control C to uh, quit out of that and go back here. So that's, that's the idea of a loop. Uh, play with these. There's lots of interesting use cases and different uh, ways that you'll use while loops. But the important thing is just to understand the principle of looping and the principle of Boolean expressions here. So play with that and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.